everyone, I am Ricky and welcome to today's edition of The Mouse Bites. Now The Mouse Bites are your latest Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, and Universal Orlando news. Now first things first, I am recently back from a visit to Universal Orlando as well as a little bit of Walt Disney World. If you'd like to see some of the fun that we had um, and what the parks are like currently, uh, you can check out our social media accounts. So we have Facebook, Instagram, and we have um, Twitter, so you can check all three of those out to see all of our photos on whichever is your preferred social media outlet. Uh, so we had a great time, lots of fun, practiced social distancing, wore masks the whole time, uh, actually uh, got uh, special masks from Universal. They have um, Harry Potter themed masks, which are kind of cool. Uh, so of course I got a Gryffindor one uh, and uh, stayed at Royal Pacific, uh, had a great time with all that. So also visited Disney Springs, like I said, and walked around and, and experienced what the part of what the, the Springs was like. So like I said, if you want to check all that out, head to one of your favorite social sites. So we have news though that broke kind of while I was gone. So I wanted to get that to you guys. So that way you knew what was up and all of these are things that have to do with face mask policies. Um, so while I was down there, I got the full experience of wearing the face mask the whole time. Um, it was perfectly okay. I managed it fine. It was hot. Um, but you know, one thing that I noticed a lot was you're going in and out of attractions and things like that. So you had time to kind of cool down a little bit. Um, I only noticed getting really hot when I was actually walking around Disney Springs, and that was because I wasn't going in and out of stores, air conditioning, that kind of thing. I was kind of just making the loops. So I noticed it a little bit more then, um, but uh, I will say that there have been, like I said, some changes uh, to the mask policies. Now the first change is for Walt Disney World, and they are now requiring that guests who are eating or drinking uh, must either be uh, stationary or in one of the relaxation zones uh, in one of the four theme parks. Uh, so uh, before some guests had been seen walking around uh, wearing masks for, uh, without wearing masks for an extended period of time, while holding a beverage or a you know churro or something like that, uh, so the Walt Disney Resort World Resort has officially revised its face covering requirement um, and saying that you, um, you your mask may be removed while e actively eating or drinking. However, you need to remain stationary and maintain appropriate physical distancing. So that's the update there. Now moving over to Universal Orlando, they have actually changed their face mask policy as well. Uh, so moving forward, appropriate face coverings must fit on the following criteria. They must cover your nose and mouth and be secured under your chin. They must fit snugly against the side of your face and be secured with ear loops or secured around your head. They must be at least two ply, so um, no single ply masks anymore. That means they have to consist of two layers. Now face coverings that are not allowed are face coverings with uh, exhalate. Uh, exhalation valves, I can't say that word apparently, uh, face coverings that are not secured with ear loops or secured around your head, face coverings that include mesh material or holes of any kind, as well as costume masks or veils. In addition, Universal Orlando Resort has new rules about wearing face coverings and eating and drinking. Uh, much like Disney, uh, guests must wear a face mask at all times unless they are actively eating or drinking and they must be socially distant from other travel parties while consuming their food and beverage. Uh, when dining in restaurants, tables and seating are arranged so that guests can safely remove their face coverings. Uh, so um, I, again, experienced this while I was down there. I did a couple of Universal restaurants and they did have uh, the tables spaced out appropriately enough so that you were not nearby anybody um, while dining. So uh, that's gonna do it for all the news that I have for you today. If you have any questions about touring the theme parks um, while all this is going on, feel free to drop the comments. Uh, I will be happy to answer anything that I can answer um, having experienced it. So um, just feel free to ask any questions in the comment section. Um, also make sure, like I said, if you are not following us on social media, uh, you should be. We have lots of fun. Uh, so uh, make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, um, or Twitter. The Mouse Bites are sponsored by the Magic for Less Travel. If you are looking to visit a Disney destination or a Universal destination, uh, make sure that you get a free no obligation quote from our friends at the Magic for Less Travel. You can visit their website at themagicforless.com. And otherwise, that's going to do it for today. We're going to see you the next time on The Mouse Bites. Have a great day, everyone.